How was your weekend? My weekend was good. Any sightings? Any incidents? No, no. I weren't you getting a tree, or is that already? I done? got the tree. Okay, got the tree. And uh, you know, here's the thing: when you go pick out a Christmas tree, and I don't know who started this. Go cut down your own. Was it Martha Stewart who Check. did this? We're checking. Okay. So you get there. You got to get this. I mean, it's a great scam. Hey, you're going to charge. We're going to charge you for doing the work. Huh? It'd be like going to a restaurant and saying, uh, hey, where's the kitchen? I'll make my own food. And then we'll charge you. So I get there and my wife can't decide on a damn tree. And I go, how about this one? I don't know. So you end up walking around for about 45 minutes. And then we come back, we circle back, and then I say, "How?" just to test her, how about this one? She goes, ooh, I like it. Now, it's the first one we saw. <laughs> and then I go, I'll do it. I'll get under there and, you know, salt. And she goes, no, I'm going to do it. So I'm the sap, literally. And I, where's he? Thank you, Paul. Uh, so she cuts down the tree. Well, the problem is... She says, push the tree, okay? Give me some momentum there. I push the tree on top of her. Accidentally. Eh, your story. No, it was an accident. <laughs> it, it was accidental. It was. So we drag the tree like it's a dead carcass, and then you've got to drag it a half mile, and then somebody picks it up, body bags it, and then you take it home. And it scratches the top of your new car. And that and that's where the adventure begins. Now you gotta get the tree in. You got then you have to put it in the base. You gotta make sure it's straight. And then that you, then you spend the rest of the night. You know, Christmas music, which I don't like, and then putting on lights and ornaments. And I said, you know what? When you need a star on top of the tree, I'm your guy. And then she goes, okay. So that was it. I'm going to put the star on the tree. And actually, it's just a picture of me. But, I mean, yes, for two. I'm still troubled by it. And it's very cool that you were willing to admit that, that you're not into Christmas music. No. Just a couple of weeks out of the year, you know, you know, there's a, not a couple of songs that make you feel festive and want to just kind of have a nice drink by the fireplace, something cozy. I, but I don't need Christmas music. Certainly to have drinks by the fireplace. I don't need anything. That's true. You really don't yeah. need the music and that. I, I turned on Tom Petty music while we brought in the Christmas tree. I was like, you know, that's fine. What if it was Tom Petty sings the Christmas no, hits? No, I couldn't do it. Do you think that people always take long to look for the Christmas tree because you don't want to go for the first one because it's the process? My wife always says, let's take our time. Let's look around. And they all look the same. They don't want to get out of the first tree because we want to enjoy the process of getting the tree. Yeah. yeah. Throw a little eggnog in there. Yeah. You know, it's a whole thing. And then you got to get a wreath. And then I said, hey, hon. You know, I had dad humor, which didn't go over well. I said, hey, hon, how about uh, something called Aretha Franklin? But you have a wreath that has her music on it. That's fantastic. I thought you were going to go like Ben Franklin. No. <laughs> it was actually a wreath of all like Ben Franklin's. Yeah, it's a wreath of Franklin. And then you have her music on there. And then she, like, I get nothing. I get crickets. I'm like Fritzy at Caroline's. Oh, wow. Yeah. Gotta bring that up. Yeah, shot. They weren't amused at all with Aretha of Franklin? No. Nothing? No. They have no sense of humor. That's not on you. No, I'm going to stop stuff. wasting my good stuff at home because they don't care. They don't. Let's put up some Jeff Garland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.